for our second Chef in the Market. We're featuring Executive Chef Michael Isles from 220 Restaurant. And our cooking demonstrations by Downtown Chico top chefs are celebrating height of the season, items, ingredients from our local farmers as they educate and hopefully inspire our home cooks. So please help me welcome Michael tonight. I got the opportunity to go to Mexico City last August and I spent 10 days there eating. I ate uh, 37 meals in 10 days. I tasted their ceviche there and I want to make it for you guys tonight. So um, let's get to it. So we're going to do a little, uh, a little fine dice. And what kind of knife are you using? Uh, a chef's knife. Okay. It's a chef's knife. Good. So uh, I take the onion and um, basically the onion's a bunch of layers. So you'll see a lot of chefs cut this way into the onion, but I don't bother to do that because I think it's useless and it kind of makes the onion a little more slippery. So uh, I'm just going to dice a nice fine dice. So is that a dice as opposed to a minced? That's a dice. Okay. That's a dice. And okay. I'll do a mince with the jalapeno. Okay. So really this dish is so simple. Does that mean anybody could do it? Yes, anybody could, a absolutely anybody could do it. Even children could do this if you let them play with sharp knives. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is make everything, every single one of the dices all the same size. So, so what I do is I, I'm, I, I just look at it, flatten it out, cut sticks, and then, and then cut squares. That's really what it's about. Different size sticks and different size squares. When you're cooking, the cutting part is almost as important as, or maybe even more important than the cooking part because if I get things all the same size they're all gonna cook at the same amount of time and at the same temperature if I have tiny little cubes and big giant cubes they're never gonna cook at the same time and so half your dish will be overdone and half your dish will be underdone so um, this this dish is actually not cooked with heat so this dish is cooked with acid so uh, basically what the, the cooking process is, is a binding of proteins. So when you look at a chicken breast or a piece of fish, it looks almost translucent. There are, are very short proteins that are in there that allow the eye to look through it as though it's translucent. When you either cook or change them with acid, uh, you actually bind those proteins into long strips. And that's why you can't see and the chicken looks white instead of the kind of opaque color it did before is because those proteins are now bound and when we look at it we see long strands. That's basically it. How many it. people knew that? <laughs> Somebody did. Beautiful. You did. So again, the, the trick with chopping things is to take your time on the first cuts and I cut pretty fast but you, you can take your time. It doesn't, it, it really, there's no rush in doing something like this. Just stack up your sticks. You'll notice I don't lift the knife, keeping it on the table, making it much safer. The knife, the knife will, nat if you work the knife, it will naturally work towards the center of your body. So just a straight up and down and let the knife take you. Okay, we're gonna do a little mince. How many, how many people cook with jalapenos? Okay. Quite a few. <laughs> and so you're going to mince as opposed to... So I'm going to mince this. So I got a, a fine dice on this and I'm going to mince this much tighter. And it looks kind of dangerous, but actually my, the only part of the knife, so the knife is 99.95, .95, not dangerous, right? You can rub your hand on here all day long. It's not gonna hurt you. You may get a friction burn. 
But that little edge right there, that's the dangerous part. You rub your hand on that, you're going to the hospital. So whenever I cut, my knuckles are bent and you can see that my finger is actually like more than a quarter inch of the way. And as long as you remember never to straighten out your finger, you end up with all your fingertips. Nice. And then really you don't have to look. You can cut without looking really, really finely because you know where your knife is and it's never gonna be close to my fingers so I don't have to worry about it. And you can see what a super fine dice that makes. Very. Wow. Okay. Mango. Right? Everybody know how to cut a mango? Yeah? So there's a seed in the mango, in the center, right? So there's a fat side and a thin side. The seed is positioned in the center right here. So the best way to cut these, just to go down the center, either side. Can everybody see? And then I do this, so I'll cut squares at the size that I want. This is a great way to eat it too. Just a little lime juice, and then you just flip it out. Oh my gosh. Right, so then I'll cut it in half, and I'll flatten my knife on it. And I'll get a great dice with no skin on it. Because those can be tricky to cut up. So that's how you do it, huh? So, a little chopped cilantro. Again, so everything except basil you can treat roughly. Basil, I take the individual leaves and I lay them out on top of each other. I don't roll them, I don't bruise them. But parsley, any of those, you can just... So what I did is I rolled it up in a tight a ball as I can. And then I'm going to chop it real finely one time. And then it's finely chopped. So this would go in here. I marinated some beautiful ahi tuna and some chopped up shrimp in lime juice. I marinated the tuna about an hour ago and I marinated the shrimp about two and a half hours ago. So I want them to cook. I want them to be both cooked at the same time. And the shrimp are tighter and harder and take longer to cook. So, so I would just mix these two in here. And where do you where do you suggest buying fresh fish? All of those purveyors are getting the fish from the same market. So you can okay. look at price and quality. Quality is going to be the same because. We live in the hinterland, and so we get our fish deliveries three days a week. The fish market's hinterland. getting them probably two days a week, and so we, we yes, the hinterland. Hinterland, okay. Okay, so this, that's the dish. You basically stir it up, and this is what it looks like finished. Shows the people. Yeah. It has a really wonderful smell.